What's good, YouTube? Native Mask Collector back with a very special and exciting video. And I'm trying not to talk too loud because my daughter is next the next room watching a movie. So, um, you know, I, who knows what I get for grades here. Um, these are um, the regular submission that I put into PSA. I sent them out on January 28th. I just got them back today, which is April 17th. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate that. Um, if you like the content, please uh, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. I would really, you know, like to interact with more of the community and um, people that enjoy the content. That's great. I, you know, really appreciate you guys checking stuff out. So, oh man, here we go. So these was a uh, this was a regular submission, 50 bucks a card. Um, it's got 1980 and um, 19, actual 19, it was like 1988, 1990, early 90s cards here. So, uh, nervous that, but. All right, so good news is I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They're all slabbed, um, which means that there wasn't any cards that were trimmed or suspect of being, you know, not original, anything like that, which is cool. So we're gonna start out. the bottom of the list bottom of the pile which is a ah, stuff dusty little cardboard stuff on here but anyways okay <sighs> and let's see if I can do the old magic that um, Haas of cards does when he takes it and flips it around and puts a sum over it so 1988 Dennis Rodman rookie card and we're gonna try to put that over there. So we got, man, it looks really, really good, doesn't it? Um, I think I said I was gonna kind of shooting for nines on this whole submission, except for that refractor that I put in, but let's see what we got here. All right, mint nine. Okay, that's good. We'll take a nine, no doubt. Nines are selling for you know, 400 bucks a card, sometimes more, depending on, you know, who's been buying it, but I'll take a nine. Very happy with that. That's cool. So putting my nine pile over there, which is probably gonna be really full because I think most of these cards are gonna be nines, is my guess, so. Okay. Here's a uh, starting lineup, Michael Jordan card. Um, I don't, let's see here. Okay, so this is the 1990 Jordan uh, yellow border. Um, man, it looks really good in that slab. All right, let's see what we get here. Near mint eight. So an eight. And I really, um, I don't know why it would have gotten such a, why it would have gotten an eight. I mean, it looks really, really, really good. Maybe it was in a corner or something, I don't know. Well, it's got some chipping and stuff, so, you know, legit. So we got an, an eight. Um, so that's that. Uh, this next one is um, Brown Border, 1990, starting lineup. This is another Near Mint 8, which I think uh, a lot of it has to do with the edging and everything, from what I can tell, because, you know, the surface was pretty much perfect. But, you know, 8, yeah. 
Would have been great to see nines, but I guess I'll take eights. I'm not going to complain yet. Here is the 1988 starting lineup. Um, this one you can kind of tell that there was some, like, I don't know, just old age staining around the edges here. So it's probably going to be less than an, a 9 or an 8. It might even get a 7, who knows. So we'll see what we get here. Near mint 8. So we'll take another 8. Not going to complain about that. All right, so now we got the 1989 Jordan sticker. And this one definitely is off-centered. Um, you can kind of tell where the, the star section is going to appear there as it goes on. But I thought it looked pretty, pretty good overall. And we got a Near Mint 7. Ooh. Ouch. I'm guessing it has to do with, you know, the edges and the chipping, white chipping and stuff like that. But, you know, it looks, looks good. All right, so seven. <clears throat> this is a 1989 Jordan sticker. And I know stickers don't grade that well. I mean, it's tough to get them in good condition just because of, the nature of the card um all right this one here i thought was pretty nice i mean it does have a little um white corner here but it's probably going to be a seven as well then compared to that a six wow that's surprising There's a scratch on the face of this, which I do not remember at all, but it's definitely the same card, that's for sure. But a six, whew. That's, uh, that's disappointing for that one. But again, stickers are really hard to, you know, it's like chasing a unicorn to try to get something that is um, high grade on those stickers, especially now just kind of buying them off of eBay trying to get lucky all right next one is Michael Jordan's um, all-star card from 1988 um, again I thought this one had a potential to get a 10 but I think it's probably gonna get a 9 near mint 7 you gotta be kidding me I guess in this light, oh, looks like there's something on that edge now. I, I don't know. Oh, wow. Wow. Um, I don't know what to say about that. I mean, I've seen... I've seen tens that are worse looking than this card. Uh, 1988 Jordan. Nineteen eighty eight Fleer, Michael Jordan. So let's see what we get on this one here. I thought this one looked pretty good too, but Mint Nine, hey. Alright, that's cool. I'll take that that'll that makes me happy you know I really wish this all-star card would have got a better grade but I'll take a nine on this one though that's that's a really good win right here um, so that's cool um, we'll take that for the nine all right so next card is Jordan's 1987 sticker And I thought this one looked pretty good, but the way that I'm <laughs> doing so far, um, I don't know. Let's see what we get on this one. 
So near mint eight, hey, I think an eight's definitely respectable for this second year sticker. Um, that should return, you know, a decent amount. I would, I'm assuming. And I'll put some comps up in the uh, in the the corners here when I when I edit this video too. Kind of give you an update on where it, where it sits for. Um, value but no oh, that's cool and then the last one I got here is the Bowman's Bowman's um, best honor roll so it's got a Kim Olajuwon on the back and it's got Michael Jordan on the face and I just love this card um, it's I'm not selling it it's a PC card for sure I'm sure it's got a seven probably just the way that these have all kind of gone. Um, let's see. Holy shit! I got a nine. Wow. 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 <laughs> all right, that, that made uh, my day right now. Uh, this card here specifically. I thought I didn't even, you know, I thought that there were some, some issues on this one that was going to keep it away from that nine, nine area, um, with just some surface issues and things like that. But maybe because it's a double sided, um, card and the way that it, you know, I mean, appearance wise, this thing is great. Um, it's centered really nice. Such an iconic card figure. You know, you got Jordan and Olajuwon because they were in the same draft class. But this is really cool. I'm really happy I got a nine on this. Overall, I'm, you know, I can't, I don't think I did that bad on these cards considering, you know, they were all pretty much purchased off of eBay in the last year. Um, most of these, I don't think I, the only one that I paid, you know, I paid $200 for this card when I bought it last year. Now it's worth probably, you know, at least $1,000. Uh, the Rodman 9 is worth 400 generally as a 9. Um, the 9 Jordan, this is probably a thousand bucks maybe 600 something like that I'll, I'll do the comps and see where we're at but hey i'm not going to complain too much i'm really happy with an eight on this too i mean i was praying for a nine but um you know considering the the year on this and you know i'll take an eight that's that's a pretty good grade i think for a sticker that old of one Really disappointed in the the starting lineup um, cards. I just don't see where it the eights, you know, grades are like why why it was an eight. I don't know, but maybe it's just the chipping and stuff on the edges that I just didn't look close enough at. I mean, I know these corners here are a little kind of see evidence of a little bit of whiteness on there on the edge, but. And then the staining on the back, maybe that dropped it down, dropped it down a lot because I can really see it now that it's in this case. But I, I didn't, didn't really didn't notice it all that much when I was going through the cards. But um, you know, a seven on this one, definitely disappointing. But you know, it's a sticker. I don't think they really grade that well. A six just this kind of blew my mind on this one here. I thought for sure it was going to be better than a six. I mean, this thing looks way better than a six. Um, same with this. But I guess live and learn, right? I mean, it's, that, it's off centered a little bit. And there's something on this edge, like a bubble or something. Um, other than that, I just don't know what's wrong with it. 
but hey, got a got a mint nine. Dennis Rodman, and man, this this is um, this made it all worth it. Really, just getting a nine on this card because this was one that I was really hoping to get a good grade on. So um, cool. Uh, thanks for joining me on this little reveal. Um, I really wish I would have got some better grades on it, but considering how old these cards are, um, you know, they're all from 19. You know, this one's a 96, but. All the other ones were 88, 87, 89, and 90 for, for years. So it was fun. Um, it was 50 bucks a card. I'll definitely will, will make that money back. No, no problem whatsoever on these. So I think I'm probably going to be selling all of them except for um, the refractor. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold on to that one for sure. So... Um, really appreciate you guys checking out the video once again. Um, you know, also please subscribe if you haven't, that would be sweet. Like the video, give it a thumbs up and then also, um, hit that bell for notifications when I do new videos and I will see you in the next one. Thanks guys. Later.